Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Welcome back once again. I know I've talked about this before in various videos, but this is going to be relevant. A lot of people are upset about what this is, but those same people who are upset about what's happening with the game are the same people who will spend 25 quid or whatever on this new skin for... You can't see because of my webcam in the way. For the Psychov. So the Psychov is basically a pistol. So this is, again, going to make it where pretty much 99% of the people who are playing this game are going to run an FFAR as a primary. And then you can still have this on with Ghost. So you don't even need to have Overkill to then go and get a second loadout drop. There's people out there who are saying, wow, I can't believe Activision have put in another overpowered weapon. Now, if this weapon was put in the game and it didn't have, on day one of it being in the game, a operator bungle with a version of it where it's already got a fully auto barrel. It's got one of the better stocks. It kind of stops people grinding because what I'm doing and what you're going to see in the gameplay in the background and very shortly is me grinding to try to get this akimbo full auto. Just to put this in context, right, of how much it's going to break the game. Everybody pretty much was upset saying the FFAR needed a nerf. It's time to kill was just too quick. So as it stands right now at the information I've looked at, the FFAR has a 500 milliseconds kill, time to kill. That is against in, somebody in Warzone fully armoured up, so three armour plates. This weapon, when it's akimbo, when you're in its area of reach, which is pretty much, you know, bang next to somebody. So when you're running through a building, you're going to obviously swap from your um, FFAR to this. This weapon's time to kill against a fully armoured opponent is 250 milliseconds. So you can kill two people with this weapon by the time it takes you to kill one person with the FFAR. There is no counterplay. There is nothing you can do. If somebody gets the drop on you with this weapon, they delete you instantly. It was already bad enough with the FFAR meta, but it's going to get even worse. I'm obviously trying to play the game now, multiplayer, just to level this weapon up. It's a modern warfare weapon, so you can go on, shoot the ship. So you've got, um, basically, headquarters game mode where you can level this up massively on um, both shipment and um, the other map. What is it? Shoot the ship or whatever it's called. This is going to ruin the game. People are going to come on this video going, oh, you're just a hater. Well, hold on a minute. I'm not a hater. I'm a realist, right? I haven't bought any skins in this game since season one when there wasn't a hacking problem. I run into somebody hacking on the game yesterday, 36 kills, and you may think, oh, it's just somebody who's created a new account. No, he got 36 kills. It was insta-melting everybody. He was shooting people out of the air. He knew where everybody was, and the guy was sixth prestige. There'll be a video on my channel tomorrow talking about that and showing you the actual gameplay, but the people who was live in my live stream couldn't believe it. Normally, you come across hackers, they level 10. You know, they've not even prestiged or whatever. Then they get banned because, obviously, you know... Activision or whatever, or sorted out Raven Software, who just got no idea what they're doing. But the guy was Prestige 6. Why the hell am I going to give them my hard-earned money when there's people hacking Prestige Level 6s? You know, the weapon balance is just complete dog shit in this game, but it's dog shit by design. It's not dog shit by choice, which years ago you could have argued that the weapon balance in this game is affected massively because of just developers getting stuff wrong. But this is by design. It, there is no mistake that this weapon right here, ladies and gentlemen, has got released with a bundle, a new operator bundle, on day one for 2,400 COD points. So what's that? 2,400, what do you need to put on? So in theory, you need to put in 35 quid. So 5, 10, yeah, 25 quid. Let, let's, let's just call it 25 pound, yeah? So... Day one of this weapon being in the game, and plus, by the way, when it was added, it was broken anyway. You couldn't even level the gun up. But on day one, you need to <laughs> you need to basically pay £25. 
you know, to get this gun leveled up by the time they nerf it. A lot of people don't understand this, right? They put a weapon in, a new weapon. The weapon is overpowered in a certain state. So this one, obviously, it's full auto akimbo. Kills you twice as fast as what the FFAR does. Now, if you try to grind this weapon up, maybe you might have three or four days before they nerf it again. So they deliberately make a weapon like this overpowered. We've seen it on other weapons as well. It's not just this one. They will make a weapon overpowered to basically get people to buy this skin so they unlock some of the better attachments, you know, pretty much off the bat. And then they can level up the rest of it pretty quickly because they've got better attachments. The weapon is unbalanced, not by mistake. It's by game design. They want it to be overpowered so everybody uses it. And then more people are going to buy the skin. Once they've sold a lot of these skins, guys, they will nerf the weapon. And then they will buff another weapon. And then that weapon, once it's been buffed, they will go and have another skin for 25 quid. So it's not a... It's not by mistake. This is what I'm trying to get at. It's not by mistake. It's by design. And people are complaining time and time again. And I'm going to preach right now. People are complaining time and time again about why the game is in such a bad state. Why the weapon balance is in such a bad state. Why aren't we getting new content? Why are this load of hackers about? It's quite obvious. Morons in the Call of Duty community. And if you're not, if, if you're one of the people not complaining and you're buying the skins, I still don't agree with your decision, but at least you're not being a hypocrite. But there's a lot of hypocrites out there. They buy every single skin and then they complain about not having any content. Well, why are Activision as a business going to support, you know, features in the game and sort the game out when it's not going to make them any money? Skins make them money. That's why you get loads of skins all the time. It makes them money. Will an anti-cheat make them money? Not instantly. It may bring some players back, but those players who come back might not even buy skins, so it's not guaranteed to make them money. But buying, you know, designing skins is going to make them money. You know, people need to stop buying all this added content and then Activision's business model of just making skin after skin after skin and making as much money, money, money as possible. That will not work anymore because people aren't buying them because they're fed up of the game. They're fed up of the weapon balance. They're fed up of just cheaters running around. Prestige level six cheaters as well. You know, people complain about the game, but then they buy all the content. You know, how stupid do you have to be to do that and then complain about it? You're, you're the problem. But this bundle perfectly kind of backs up what I'm talking about. They don't care about the balance of the game. They don't. They don't care. They just want to make as much money as possible. You know, this game is pretty much not far off being a mobile video game right now. It may as well be a mobile video game. I think mobile video games have less toxic monetization models than what this game does. Everybody's like, oh, it's free to play. You can't complain. Yeah, I can complain. Of course I can complain. I bought skins back in season one. You know, I bought operator bundles and, and, and stuff like that because back in season one, there wasn't really a hacking problem. The balance was a lot better than what it was now. People used to complain about, about the ground meta, for God's sake. You know, the ground, we'd all have the ground meta back. We'd all have the M4A1 meta back right now, wouldn't we? You know, the game is in the worst state it's ever been. There's supposed to be a new map coming in the next week. We all pretty much know an official now that it's not even a new map. Believe it or not, it's another reimaginationed, remastered, cannot be asked to make any actual content apart from skins. It's going to be a 1980s version of Verdansk. That is pretty much it. I was going to put gameplay in the back of this game. Sorry, in the back of this video, but I think it's better like this. You see my sheer frustration. I'm frustrated because I can see the potential what Warzone has if people stop buying these goddamn skins. We know there's actual skin-based matchmaking in the game anyway. I know they don't call it that, but it's been proven before with some of the patents what Activision have, where basically if you buy a skin, it will put you against lesser players, so apparently noobs. It'll let you kill those noobs with that said weapon skin, and then they're trying to fool people, the lesser players, into trying to emulate that better player who's got the skin. So it's kind of trying to basically, you know, screw little kids' minds thinking, well, hold on a minute. If I get that £25 skin, it's going to make me as good as him. You know, that's been proven. That's not, you know, me assuming things. It's been proven there's matchmaking algorithms in the game. Whew! 
<laughs> this was an interesting one, wasn't it, chat? Um, so, yeah, you guys, obviously, guys and girls, sorry, because I know there's women who watches my channel, even though majority of people who play COD, I should imagine, a male, but, yeah, um, you all let me know what you think about this. I'm pretty much confident I'm right what I'm saying. I'm not a fanboy of any particular video game. I've just got to spit some straight facts at you here. You know, this game is broken by design, not by mistake. That's the biggie here. Anybody who says otherwise, you're just a complete, you know, fanboy of this video game. People were complaining about the FFAR killing too quickly. You know, the time to kill at 500 milliseconds. But this <laughs> kills in 250 milliseconds. You know, there's no reaction times. I've always said in Warzone, the time to kill, in my opinion, should be a lot higher. Because you've got no time to react. You know, if somebody catches you off guard, there's no counterplay. And I think in a Battle Royale game, you cannot long term, the longevity of this video game, people are going to get bored of it because there's no counterplay. So yeah, I've said what I need to say. Yeah, love you all. Take it easy. If you're new here, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, if you agree with me, leave a like. Until next time all, love you all. Cheerio. Bye-bye.